Oh, honey, um, do you mind getting the door for me? I'm a bit busy with this work. Oh, of course. Um, why do you have binoculars? You see, I was just a little bit busy trying to look for somebody. Look for who? Um, some girls coming over. That's it. G girls How many? Just one. Don't worry. There you are! I've been waiting for you! You took forever! <laughs> Sorry, my mom is a bit, you know, crazy about me going to sleepovers and stuff. So, I just had to kind of persuade her. Oh, okay, no worries. Um, I'll park your scooter for you right over there. Um, come inside! Okie dokes! Also, um, why do you have binoculars? <laughs> it seems like everybody's asking that question, huh? No reason at all. Just looking at the stars. The stars? Silly, it's daytime. Uh, yeah. Um, come inside. Mom, meet my friend here. Her name's Elizabeth. Why, hello, Elizabeth. I'm Miss Nora. Nice to meet you. You can also just call her Miss Ego. Hi. Would you like to join the chess club? Um, no thank you, but thanks for the offer. Maybe my brother would like to join. I'll take it. Okie dokes. Um, by the way, you look just like my friend Stella. Oh, I heard about her. Doesn't she go to the same school as you? Mm-hmm. She's all over my tokogram. <laughs> I see. In fact, she should be coming over right now. Ooh, I'd love to see her. All right. Just wait. Why, hello there. Hey, Stella. Um, anyways, me and Stella have some important chess business meeting going on, so if you two could carry on. Anyways, I got a bunch of pillows from downstairs in the pantry. I mean, not the pantry, the cleaning closet. We have a bunch of pillows in there for guests, so I just took all of them. Wow, this place is full of pillows. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you know how I was talking about Jackson the other day? Goodness, I just think that man is so, so cute, right? But then there's some other guy, and he's just like all over me. Um, I forgot his name, and I don't even want to remember his name, but he's just like all over me, and I can't have that because I love Jackson. Girl, let me give you a little pep talk here. Don't you dare worry about any other boys if all you're worried about is Jackson. Okay, so what I think you should do is try and... Hey girls, don't mean to ruin the girl talk or anything, but uh... Basically, your mother is about to go out to eat with me because we're going on a quick date. So, quickly, all I want to say is that I'm going out to eat with her and that you guys need to be staying here by yourself, not causing any trouble whatsoever because if I do catch you causing any sort of mayhem or mishap in this house, you will be in big, big trouble that includes simply breaking a glass because if we break a glass that means that something's definitely going wrong and don't worry because the alarm will dad okay i think me and elizabeth understand you can go <laughs> just making sure i'm clear here because i don't want any trouble now your mom sent me upstairs to say all that so that wasn't me goodbye whoa i have the best idea ever <sighs> I think that we should go downstairs and bake something super, super delicious. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, let's go downstairs. Stella, this is the fifth game. I'm getting tired. Please, 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 please. I really want to win. Don't you want me to win? Well, Stella, the meeting's over. I told you. 20 minutes ago. My sister and her friend Elizabeth are having a sleepover, so I guess my parents won't mind either. That sounds like a great idea. I'm kind of in my costume, though. You told me we're supposed to dress like we're in the 1800s, so I dressed up like a pretty princess. <sighs> I forgot to dress up, too. I was trying to fit into my dad's tux, but he has some really large arms. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, Alexander, don't worry, you'll get some arms one day. I heard that if you bake lollipops inside of a microwave, something crazy will happen to them. Goodness, girl, why are you so good with amazing ideas? Um, you know, I just remember too that my dad did tell us that we can't really be making any messes, including simply a broken glass. We won't make a mess, don't worry, come on. Oh, ew, it's all burnt and crusty. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Girl, I told you so like 20 minutes ago before you decided to bake this into the microwave. Well, now what do we do? We can just throw it away, right? No, we can't. Now that you said you wanted to do it, we have to eat it because we don't waste food in this house. Uh, fair enough. Uh, actually, it wasn't so bad. Three, two, one, Calabunga! <laughs> it's really cold. Maybe we should get out before we catch a cold. I think we'll be okay. Come on. No, I'm gonna just sit out here. You can go in the pool and do whatever. Now, the friend should be over here any minute now and we're gonna party. <laughs> any minute? Yes, sir. We gotta go downstairs. Welcome to the Grand Ego Party. This is a secret, so make sure no adults are with you. We're gonna be checking your wristbands to make sure you're secure inside the party, and if you do not have a wristband, you need to get out. J jackson Emma, it's your boyfriend. Hey! Uh, J jackson wh what are you doing here at my house? Uh, I'm here like everybody else. I heard there was a party, so I'm about to get my party on. I cannot believe this. Jackson, you know I usually don't have parties like this. This is obviously set up by her. Uh, well then don't mind me. I'll just be downstairs or with you. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. You know, I'm sure you thought this was gonna be a great splendid idea, but just to be clear, my parents did say that we can't have any crazy parties or, you know, anything of that nature. Or we can even break a glass on accident. So, well, maybe on accident, but you know what I mean. Uh, you need to take a chill pill. Look, you have a lot on your plate right now, and I want you to enjoy yourself and relax, okay? You deserve it. Yeah, but I deserve it without having to have a crazy pool party with a bunch of people I don't know. Wait till my parents come home. My dad has security cameras on 24-7. This isn't a good idea. We should just send everybody home. Pool party! Pool party! Pool party! Girl, don't you dare do it because I will get Jackson over here right now. You know how he's pretending to be a bodyguard? Yeah, I'll make sure he kicks you right out. But, but... I said what I said. Don't you dare do it, okay? Looky here. I already invited everybody to this pool party. I'm letting them in. I'm gonna let them get in the pool. And then we're gonna send them home 20 minutes later. I'm sure your parents won't be home by then. It's only 9.30. Girl, my parents have a very prime structure of time. If they say it's 8.30, that means it's 8.30. They don't say, okay, let me get myself 20 more minutes. That's not how my parents work. Especially for the fact that my 12-year-old brother is here and he will sure to rat me out. Don't worry, he won't hear a thing. Let's enjoy ourselves. You go upstairs and greet the guests. Goodness gracious. Um, so maybe there's no need for me to be worried right now, but my girlfriend said specifically that she isn't comfortable with having a party and... I wasn't even supposed to be here, but thanks to you, I thought this was a party for everyone, and just everybody was invited. No, no, no. I agree, too. She doesn't want to have the party, but I invited everyone here and thought it was a great idea. But listen, I'm going to give you 20 minutes, and after the 20 minutes of spay on time goes by, I'll make sure everybody leaves home immediately. You don't understand. My girlfriend isn't like that. If she wants somebody to leave, she wants somebody to leave. Listen, she agreed and she wants to give it 20 minutes and that's it. I promise. 
Fine then, Elizabeth. If I hear something crazy happens to my girlfriend, you're in trouble. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Just leave me alone right now. I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble by my parents just because of you. And I specifically told you no, and then you yeah, just still do it. That's not what friends do. Oh, so apparently now I'm not your friend because I want you to have some fun in your life? Okay, not what I'm saying. <sighs> if I get in trouble, this is on you. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm getting in the pool. Emma, are you okay? I am so mad at her right now. This whole sleepover was supposed to be partying by just us, me and Elizabeth, and making cute snacks and treats and maybe not blowing up the house in the process, having a little free pool time, all those things she wanted to do. And what did she do? Make my house a mess, trash it, invite other random people to the place and expect me to be okay with it? Okay, okay, calm down, everything will be fine. I'm sure your parents will understand that you're being peer pressured. Peer pressured? What's that? Peer pressure is when somebody keeps putting a bunch of impact on you to do something that you don't want to do. Oh, so I was being peer pressured by Elizabeth. Yep, that's right. <laughs> that girl. Hey kids, we're ho- Emma? Mrs. and Mr. Ego, we can explain ourselves. Jackson? No, no, no. Let's have a talk. <laughs> well, guys, we're going to leave the video here because this is a huge cliffhanger and we need to talk to them. But we'll see you guys next time and tell us what you think about Elizabeth. Is she crazy or is she super nice for this? I'll see you guys next time. I love you all so much and remember, you matter. Bye! Mwah, mwah, mwah.